Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to concentrate on a different section today. So that section will be the forgotten password uh, section. So looking at the, the website in a browser as I have now, uh, we need to add an additional link. So the additional link is going to be added to the login section here. So obviously if a member comes to the site and thinks, oh, I've forgotten my password, there needs to be a link to the forgotten password page. So what we'll do, we'll add another link, oh, we'll add another link underneath here for forgotten password. So if I just minimize the web browser, so here we are back into in Visual Web Developer. So we need to open up the forgot password page. So it's forgot password.aspx. And again, Everything's all done for us. We just need to add the the control in the content placeholder. So create a bit of space, and we want to be adding in the password recovery control. So added that in. Back to design view. So here it is. So I'm going to go to the little arrow and go to auto format, and I'm going to change that to the classic design. So that's, that's now put that in. So again, we've got the views. So when it's um, when they come to the page, they'll be asked for the username for the account that they created. So they'll put it in there. And then the next stage, it will be the security question. So they'll basically ask that and have to put in the answer. And then once that is successful, it goes to the successful template and it says your password has been sent to you. So I'm just going to change all this back to username here. I'm going to go into the source view. And I'm going to add in our H2, and I'm going to put uh, recover your password like that. And I'm going to add in the P tag, and I'm going to put please use the form below to recover your password like that. And if we go to the design, and it's looking quite nice like that. So the next stage of the process is to add the forgot, uh, forgotten password link to the login control itself. So if we go over to the subpage.master and actually click on the actual uh, login control, you, if you look down here, there's a properties uh, window. So every control has its own set of properties, um, which allow you to change, obviously, the properties. So if I'm just going to drag this window out, so as you can see here, there are quite a few... Uh, controls that we can change so the ones we're looking at are this these ones here so it's the password recovery text so I'm going to put in here recover password and press enter and you'll notice now on the actual control there's a link called recover password but it doesn't go anywhere yet so underneath the password recovery text we've got password recovery URL so if we put our mouse in there and click on the three dots it's now at saying to us, well, what page do I need to link to? So we're going to click on the forgot password link there. So now we've added that in, we can take it one stage further as well. We've also got the create user text. So again, I'm going to click in here and I'm going to put uh, create an account and press enter. And you'll notice now it adds the create an account link as well. Uh, so again, that needs to point somewhere. So in the create, create user URL, we'll click on the three dots. And we'll change that to the create account uh, page. Uh, so that's that done. So I'm going to save that. And I can never figure out how to get this thing back in position. I think I have to put it to that one. No, so I've got it wrong. So what I'm going to do, just do window uh, reset window layout. And I'll reset it back in position. And I'll just enable the toolbar back. So we've done all that, but now we've got uh, the link here that we added manually. We don't really need for the create account. So I'm just going to come down to here and I'm going to remove this because we don't need that anymore and save the page. So if we just go to the design, as you can see now, we've got both links on there. I'm just going to go to the web page. So as you can see now, we've got two links. We've got create account. So if we click on that, that takes you to the create account page. And if we click on recover password, that again takes you to the recover password page. So we can't just re recover the password straight away. We need to set up some more email settings now. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just minimize this and we'll do that now. So the additional email settings we need to set up are in the uh, forgotten password page. So if we click on the actual control here, and I'm just going to grab this properties window back out. 
and we need to go to a section here called mail definition and if we drop this down there's a few options in here so we need to say where it's coming from so I'm just going to put uh, no reply at website dot com again you can put what you like uh, we'll put the priority is high and then we want to give the email a subject so when they receive it they'll know what it's about and we'll put uh, this is your new password and save that so we've done that so I'm going to save the page and then I've figured out how to drag this in now so drag it down and you need to add it to this bottom one here and then that snaps it back into position so now I've added that we need to do one more stage which is to go to the ASP.NET configuration website which is over here in the top right hand corner if we click on that so now that we've got this open we need to go to the application configuration and then we need to go to configure SMTP email settings so in here we need to provide a way of sending the email so I'm going to use my ISP's uh, SMTP servers so it's going to be SMTP dot talk talk dot net and they uh, so SMTP goes on port 25 uh, so I'm going to say the from address so I'm just going to put no reply at website.com and I know for talk talk I don't need to authenticate so I'll just leave the authentication on none if you do have to authenticate click on basic here and then you'll probably have to put in your username and password for your ISP so as I said mine doesn't need any so I'm going to click none and then all we have to do then is click save and then that's now saved the SMTP settings click on OK and we can just minimize this so now that we've got all that set up we're now ready to actually send the password so I'm going to click start debugging so then the website pops up so I'm going to put in my username and I'm going to click submit so then now it's going to ask me the security question so I'm going to put in the answer of blue and I hit submit as you can see there it says your password has been sent to you so if I now just go over to my gmail account and if I just refresh that as you can see here it says no reply and this is your new password that's what we set up in the actual thing and it says please return to the site and log in using the following information so the username is Matt and this now is my temporary password which has been changed so I'm gonna copy that I'm going to go back to the site as it said and then I'm going to type here Matt and then I'm going to paste in that new password and click login and as you can see here welcome back Matt and we're now uh, logged in with the new password so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave the video here for now um, please feel free to subscribe please leave any comments below in the upcoming videos uh, I'll be adding the members section and showing you how to lock down certain pages also, don't forget to click the annotation in the top right for the next video, and I'll catch you later.